In today's video, I want to go back to the basics. We're going to look at how to add clips to the timeline. And this is something that for people who are new to editing videos with Final Cut Pro 10 uh, can be intimidating. This can be something that is one of those things that can be subjective. Depending on who's teaching you, they might tell you one way versus another. And what I'm going to show you is just four buttons inside of Final Cut that are different ways you can add content from your browser, which is this area at the top, into a project or a timeline. So first, we're going to create a new project. So you can go up to the File menu and select New Project or do Command N on the keyboard. And we're going to call this our new project. Please get in the habit of naming your projects so that you know what they are. In this case, I'm creating a new project. The point of this demo is to demo how a new project works. But you want to name this something that you can recognize. Because seeing Untitled Project 1, Untitled Project 2 is one of those things that it may not seem like a big deal initially, but down the road when you get into very complicated projects and scenarios. Labels are so important. So get in the habit of labeling your projects. And we're going to click OK to create that project. And you'll see at the bottom here, I now have an empty timeline. So we want to add clips to this timeline. And our clips at the top here, we see them in the, the viewer. And we could certainly click on a clip to select it and drag it down onto the timeline. And if I let go, it's going to add that clip to the timeline. That's definitely a way to, to do it. But in this case, I'm going to delete that clip and I'm going to show you how to use these four buttons and what the difference is between each one of those buttons. Because these buttons are uh, some, they're very, they're overlooked because a lot of people like to get in the habit of clicking and dragging and dropping those clips down onto the timeline. But hopefully, I'm going to shed some light on this and, and show you a way not to do that. Um, I'm going to build a project here just with these dog pictures because who doesn't love a dog? And with the clip selected, I just clicked on it. We're going to go through each of these buttons. And I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the order of these buttons. I'm not going to go from left to right. I'm actually going to start with this third button here. And this is the append button. And you can use the, the keyboard key or shortcut E, just the letter E. That's why at the end of that little tool tip, it has an E. And this is going to append that clip to the end of your project or your primary storyline, which is this dark gray area going across the center of the clip. So I have uh, this first dog here, very happy dog. I'm going to click that button to append it. Uh, it. Because it's a still image, I'm getting this. I'm just going to say, OK, this video is not about that setting. And notice now we have the, the clip here on the timeline. I'm going to use Command Plus to zoom in a little bit. But there's our, our happy dog, right? So looking at the clips in the browser, just kind of scrubbing across a couple. I like this one, so I'm going to append that one as well. Again, clicking this button to append it. Uh, this one, well, look at those eyes. That's a cute one, so we're going to append that. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm done using the, key, the uh, mouse and clicking this button. It, there's no need to do that. Use the keyboard uh, to, to really speed up your, your workflow here. So. I like this one. I'm going to use E to append it. This one's cute. We'll use E. Select it. Use E. Actually, I'm, I like all three of these clips, so I'm going to click, hold shift, click, select all three, and again, pushing E to append all three of those to the timeline. So notice how quickly I added those clips just using the E key on the keyboard or the append uh, command instead of just dragging each of those down under the timeline. So if you can get used to using E or uh, the append, uh, please do. That's a great way to do it. Now, let me show you one other thing here. I'm going to just move the playhead into the middle of the timeline. I'm going to select another clip, and then I'm going to hit E. Notice, even though my playhead was in the middle, E appended it to the end of that storyline. So uh, that's the first key. Append always puts it at the end. So I use that one very frequently when I'm building a rough cut of a project. And uh, if anything, that's the one I use the most. So that's why I like to show it first. The next one I want to show you here is the insert command, which is this one to the left of a, of a pen. And you can use the shortcut W. So insert 
will place the clip, let's use this one, wherever the, um, the playhead is. So I, I, we're going to go down here and click on the insert button, and it inserted it right at the end of the project. If I select the next clip, we'll do insert. Select the next one. I'm going to hit W this time on the keyboard. Use the shortcut. And you'll notice that it's almost, well, right now it is identical to the append command because the playhead has been at the end of the project the entire time. But say I want to put a clip in between, say, this guy, this little smug dog, and this happy dog. I want to put one in between. Uh, who should we get this time? Let's get this guy on the walking along next to the water there. So uh, again, this time I'm going to use the insert command, which is W. And notice it inserted it in between these two clips right here, instead of appending it to the end of the primary storyline. So that's what those two keys are for. Uh, and that's essentially for building your rough cut, kind of building the foundation of your project, because it's putting everything onto that primary storyline. So let's look at the first clip here, because or first uh, button here. It's because this is the connect button, and this will connect your clip to the primary storyline. So I've seen a lot of people use this connect button as their way of building a project. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go all the way back, select all those clips, and delete them. And I'm going to click on a clip. Uh, let's use, yeah, let's use these four clips. And I'm going to go ahead and use the first option here to connect them. And what will happen is it connects them just the way that that command is supposed to do it, but it puts in this gap clip onto the primary storyline. And you just don't want that. I've seen too many editors, new editors especially, who go in and they edit this way, and they're not utilizing the primary storyline. And that's why I avoid using this first button when you're building the rough cut. So I'm going to do Command-Z to get my project back. There we go. And here's one you do want to use, the append. So for this smug dog that's here, I actually want to put on a couple other uh, dog, dog uh, clips on top of it. So I'm going to use, in this case, I'm going to use the connect to the primary storyline, which is the first button. And I'm going to do the same thing with uh, another clip here. I'm just picking some random ones. And you can also go up and select them and then use the Q, letter Q, or queen, and that connects it. So now that I've connected these, I'm going to select all of these clips, and just in the inspector here, I'm going to scale them down to maybe 25%, 30%, whatever, that's fine. So now you can see each of these clips that have been connected are on top of the ones that are on the primary storyline, which it's very common that you'll want to connect B-roll or secondary footage to the primary storyline and not actually put it onto the primary storyline. So that's what that uh, button is for in that way of connect. Now the fourth and final button that I want to show in this video is this one, which is the override button, which the shortcut is D on the keyboard. And override the primary storyline, this one can be uh, dangerous <laughs> depending on what you're trying to do. So if I select this clip, I'm going to press D to do the override command. And what you're going to see is right where the playhead is, notice it put that clip, and it erased what was here. It didn't push everything down, and it essentially erased what it was uh, putting there, or overwrote it, overwritten, right, is what that command is, and that's exactly what it do, uh, did. So again, let me show you again. Um, notice this uh, canine clip here. And actually, let me make it a little bit bigger, zoom in, make it a little bit larger. This will make it very clear what happened. So when I, let's get rid of these two. I just want it to be very clear here. So right where the playhead is, uh, I'm going to select the next clip. Let's do this one. And again, we're going to use this override command, which I'm just going to do D. And notice it didn't um, push anything out of the way. It just erased part of this clip. I'm going to do Command Z to undo it and Shift Command Z to redo that. So it erased this portion of the other dog that was there and put itself there in that spot. So that's what override is. Again, you may want to use this. Some people never use this command because they like the magnetic timeline, uh, but that's what that one is for.
There is a little tiny uh, drop down here for this command. You can click and hold and you can do an override of just video or just audio. And this can actually be very helpful. If you are trying to replace the audio, so you've uh, shot a, a clip like this one, and let's say it had a, a recording of maybe dogs barking, but you had a, a better recording of that. I'm gonna use just this music. Um, you can select it and you can use the override of the audio only to it put just that audio in. So I could override just the audio to that spot and now just put in the audio there. I'm gonna undo that. Uh, but this then allows you to do just the video or just the audio for override, but it also works for the other commands too. So you could do that for uh, putting in just the audio. Let me find a video and audio clip so you can see what this looks like. Uh, let's use my sample clips here. So these sample clips are blurred out video, but they have good audio. So I might want to put in just the audio. I can switch this to audio only, and you can use the shortcuts there, shift one, two, or three. And then if I want to insert just the audio, let's say put it over here, and I'll use, I'm actually going to use the append, um, or sorry, the connect to primary storyline. This way I don't mess up any of the dogs. I can connect just that audio. And notice now we get the audio from that video and nothing else. Maybe the, like an example of that would be, this is all B-roll, it's just pictures of dogs. If this clip is someone talking about the dogs and this is your voiceover, we can select it. We can change this to audio only and go to the beginning and then use the first one to um, connect it. And boom, that connects just the audio and that's pretty much all you have to do then. So uh, that's what this little drop down is at the, the side there. Um, that is it for this video. Those are the four uh, buttons. Again, probably the most common one that I use is append, which the shortcut is E. But then we had and looked at insert, which the shortcut is W to insert something. You can connect a, a clip to the primary storyline with Q, or you can override a clip to the primary storyline using D. So the first key is for appending stuff, um, is you're connecting, not doing anything with re related to the primary storyline. And the, the last three here all are for uh, working on that primary storyline. And then the little drop down menu, we've been doing everything with all, but you could just do the video or just do the audio if you don't need to bring down the entire clip. Hopefully this was um, helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know. And if you have a specific question, just pop it in the comments at the bottom down there. Let me know what questions you have, what things I should be showing you. If this was not helpful, what's something you want to see? And I hope you do have a great rest of your day, whatever it is you are doing.